Hi again. Two videos in one day. Wow, I am on a roll. Um, so I've had my hat on. I went out and did a couple things. I had my baseball hat on since I made my last video. So we're a little bit slicked back right now. But um, part of what I wanted to go out for is uh, I've been wearing my short, really light uh, crop pixie star wig by John Renault, and I love it. But I've been really missing my posh wig, um, which I have right here. Same one that I did in all my videos before. I just I love the 12 FS8 and everything. It is a bit dark of a hairline on me, even though my own hair is fairly dark. Um, but the thing that made me hesitate on wearing that, I discussed my hair loss a little bit and my concerns about losing more hair by wearing wigs. I discussed that in my last video. Um, part of my concern with this one for me personally is this area here that when that goes on my forehead and I wear that all day, I feel like that is just almost strangling. It's, uh, it's not that it's overly tight, but it really doesn't let a lot of air circulation. It's just sort of, you know, it's a smooth uh, silicone flat against my forehead. So I figure that can't be good for hair regrowth. Or, uh, so anyway, I thought, well, moleskin, maybe that would help putting a layer on that. So I went to Shoppers Drug, Drug Mart, Shoppers Drug Mart, which is what we have here in Canada. And I got a box of moleskin padding and uh, I asked them to if we could open this was about 10.99 it, it was quite a bit in here it's a roll of it and I was very relieved when it said padding I was worried it was going to be like a quarter inch thick or something but it's nice and thin it's got a peel off strip at the back so you can see how thin that is so it's just that sort of felt soft felt and then the adhesive on the back Get quite a bit of it for your money, oops. And I thought this might be worth trying to. Sorry, I can't can't seem to do things and talk at the same time. Sorry, and my camera's sliding off. Um, I've got you balanced on a pillow. Um, so I've cut out a piece, this shape. There's the peel off back, just to get to cover that, so that it will soften. And just allow a little bit of airflow, just make it a bit softer. And just trying it on briefly. I haven't stuck it on, and I don't know, it'll probably have to be stuck on every time I go to wash the wig, which as long as that comes off, okay, that'll be another video, I guess, to see if that works or not. So I tried this on briefly with my own hair sticking out. It was, and I just, I've been missing this hair. Now, I've got a bit of a Mrs. Brady thing going on here with my own sticking out. So I thought, well, before I stick it in, I'll do the peel part up and just sort of get it in under there to see, is it thin enough? I'll probably, when I do stick it in, I'll set it just back from the edge. And I think that could make a difference. Feeling good about it, hopeful. Anyway. So let's try. Like it, it didn't look or feel like it was pulling anything away. So this is boring for you. I'm sorry. So let's do this peel and stick. Hopefully I can get the backing off. I don't have my glasses on. I cannot see. I'm going to save you watching me struggle with this. Hang on. Good Lord. That, that took a while. Okay. So needed my glasses. So now it's going to have even less thickness actually. It's now that the paper's not on there. So, I'll stick this, I'm going to turn this off again, I'll show you where I stuck it in a second. Okay. Stuck it on, I set it back just a little bit from the edge because I don't, it's materials lighter. You can see it's not sticking out too far. Oh, it's actually sticking a little bit on the monotop. I'm going to have to wait until I have a little more experience with wearing this and washing it and uh, then I'll let you know does it peel off is it a pain in the butt does it ruin everything I'll let you know that's gonna have to happen later after I've posted this I'll make a comment in the description box as to what happened with it but for now throw this on I'm not worried I'll tell you right now it's nice 
that feels nice and soft against the forehead. Now, what I was doing before, when I wore this wig anyway, was um, using a bit of shadow to sort of blend so it wasn't such a harsh look. And I don't know if that will focus or not. Come on. I think it's okay. I don't think I've got a gap. Watch <laughs> once I have a chance to watch this back with the same time as all of you. I'll see that. Oh gosh, there's a good millimeter gap. I don't think so. I think it's okay, and uh, I'm excited because I have the only thing that's kept me from wearing this wig lately. You know, and I've been having fun with the other one, but I've missed wearing this. I was just afraid to wear it. So where is that? There. Got that hair. Sorry. So easily distracted. Um, I was just afraid to to be doing damage to the hair in front with the the silicone there, uh, which is perfect if you don't have hair. It's amazing for that. You get it laying nice and flat. But um, yeah, if you're trying to keep what precious little hair you've got there, then hopefully adding this mole skin will help. We'll find out. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for rambling and. Yeah, so this imagine that without the Mrs. Brady thing, but it's kind of cute. Anyway, that's it for now. So day one of my experiment with the mole skin, and uh, fingers crossed it'll work. Thanks. Bye.